Uh, the, there are two ways that uh, you can get subclasses from a parameterized type and uh, if you look at uh, this example here you'll see what I mean. Now, supposing we got this generic type uh, subtype of T which uh, extends my type of uh, T like that where T is the uh, type parameter and I uh, suppose also we've got uh, low is a uh, subtype of high uh, then one way to get uh, subtypes is to uh, restrict the type variable to a smaller and smaller set of types so we start with uh, my type of um, something which extends object which is uh, basically like that and uh, that will take uh, any sort of type at all my type of uh, absolutely anything will fit into there without any problems uh, if we restrict it a bit to say that uh, it extends high then we've uh, made a subtype if we restrict it still further to say to, uh, it extends low, we've made it a smaller set, so we've got a subtype again. And finally, we can make it specific and say my type of low, which is uh, uh, yeah, a smaller set, as it were. Uh, we've also got uh, my type of um, high, which uh, branches off there, basically. So as an alternative subtype, we can have another subtype there, which branches off. Now, another way of doing it is to uh, subclass my type so we've got my type of something up there we've got the equivalent subtype of it down here uh, similarly all the way down we've got my type of something which extends uh, low down there and down here we've got subtype of something which extends low and so on now you can combine both operations creating a sort of um, two-dimensional array of subtypes and uh, if we've got something um, here some type X then all the uh, subtypes of X will lie in this yellow area down here where we've uh, restricted the type variable in that direction and subclassed the type in that direction. 